Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. How are you, people? How are you tonight? Very good. You're very good. Excellent. That's good. Full energy. With full energy, like every night in every class. <laughs> That's very important. Yes. Attitude. All right. Very good. Welcome, Maron. Welcome, Gabriela. Welcome, Nevi. We Thank have you, also Sandra Guadalupe. Welcome. Who else we have? We have Hello, Diego. guys. Hello. We have Diego. Oh. We have Sonchil. Welcome, guys, to one more session, to one more class. <laughs> Remember yesterday, we were studying about clothing. Yes, we saw about clothing. Now, let's continue with a little with clothing to remember about accessories and different clothes that we can wear. We have this one. As you see, we have a dress shirt that is very formal, especially for men. We have safari suits. That's very relaxed, right, to wear. A waistcoat, un chalequito, right? That's a waistcoat. A cummerbund. It's a different style, right? Like, very elegant. You have a vest, dress paint, a tie, blazer, sherwini. Also, we have a suit, jacket. Shirt. Remember that shirt is formal. Coat, trousers. Trousers, they are formal pants. Now let's check more vocabulary. We have now clothes for leisure. Do you remember what's leisure? Leisure. Yes, what's leisure? Para relajarse. Es ropa para relajarse. O la que uno utiliza para tiempo libre. So, no for work. No for work. That is different. That's to relax. Like when you go to the beach, when you go to the park, when you go to Centro Histórico, right? <laughs> you go for this type of clothes. Now, we have, for example, jeans. We have raincoats. We have jumper that looks similar to a sweater, like to do exercise. We have a tracksuit to do exercise too. That's a tracksuit. A t-shirt, right? That we saw the difference, right? Between a shirt and a t-shirt. A t-shirt is casual clothing. We have boots, sandals, sneakers that we say that is the same as tennis. So we have different types, right? Of them, of tennis, different. Can you mention some tennis? With the brands, brands, Nike. What else? So it's not Nike, not Nike, it's Nike. They are Nike, the pronunciation, but not Nike. <laughs> what else? Exactly. Que si es en serio, que se dice Nike. Yeah, no, it's true. Yes, that is the correct pronunciation. It's Nike. And we used to say Nike. So we have the same Nike, right? But no, they are Nike. Nike. We have Adidas. What else? Mention other types of sneakers. New Balance. New Balance. They are very good. Yes. What else? Jaguar. Converse. Converse. Uh -huh. Converse. Yes. The All Stars, right? Yeah. The same Uma. ones. Uma. Yeah, that's true. What else? Any others? That you remember? Under Armour, creo que se dice. Yes, Under Armour, that's a good line also. It's for sports, right? It's a sports line. The linea de papilla has a sports line. Yeah, that's true. Good one. Okay, so we have the sneakers here. Now we have other types. <laughs> we have belt. We have boot. Well, as we know that they can be individual because they are shoes. One boot. But also it can be boots, if it's the plural, right? The pair of boots. Now we have a blouse. Then we have gloves, jeans, raincoats. Well, raincoat because it's for the rain, right? When it's raining a lot, it's necessary to wear a raincoat. Here in El Salvador, eh, I have seen yellow ones. 
they are yellow, right? But also black. Pocas veces he visto color negro, pero casi todas son amarillas. So they are yellow. The raincoats. Mittens. Look at here. Miren, hay negras las personas que... They wear, que right? Trabajan, que trabajan en la calle. Ajá. Uh -huh. negra, pero con reflector, con la banda reflectora. Oh, yes. It's true. Also the police, right? The police officers, they wear, I think yes. it's blue. It's like dark blue. Yes, with a line, like orange line, something like that. So we have mittens. What are mittens? Guantes. Uh-huh. And gloves? Guantes. Guantes para nieve. Guantes para nieve. Ah, these gloves. Uh-huh. Puede ser de nieve o para el frío, right? Gloves. But mittens son guantes, pero... Guantes de la... cocina. Perfect. That mm, is the difference. Uh-huh. That's correct. So, in general, son, son guantes, they're gloves. Pero la, eh, en específico, son para cocina. Right? So, they're mittens for the kitchen. We have the blouse, we have a cap, dress, we have socks, we have a bra, we have knickers. So, no sneakers, but knickers. We have skirts. Uh -huh. We have hats. We know hat, they are different styles, right, too. When you go to the beach, right, also it's necessary to wear a hat. Now we have a coat for the rain, right? Or when it's very hot, if you go to El Pital, or if you go to El Cerro Verde, or if you travel to the United States, Guatemala is cold, too. So you wear a coat. Uh, you also have a jacket. A hoodie. What's a hoodie? A sweater. Uh -huh. But but look, it's a special. Sudadera. It's like this. Uh -huh. Y tiene um, un gorrito. Por eso es hoodie. Tiene que tener el gorrito porque sea un hoodie. It's a hoodie. Then we have shoe, swimming trunks. So they are similar than shorts, but they are especially for swimming. We have dungarees. They are also called overall. That's the more common way. Overall. El nombre más común es overall. Así lo conocimos. Right. But synonyms, you can say dungarees. Also we have, well, we have a jacket. We have a jumper. That's similar than sweater. That's a jumper. Tie. That's very formal. Waistcoat. We have tights, medias. They're tights. White fronts. But also, you know that exist uh, the boxers, right? They have the same, the same category, but they are different styles of underwear. And see, in general, corresponden a la categoría de underwear. Underwear is la ropa interior. So all of these ones is the underwear that correspond, for example, bra is underwear. Knickers are underwear. What is another one? Underwear. White fronts is also underwear. So it's ropa interior, but they have a specific clothes. Now let's check here another part. Got more vocabulary here. Cap. We mentioned cap, sunglasses. We know that glasses also we have different styles because these are special for the sun. But also we have eyeglasses. Eyeglasses. What are eyeglasses? Como los lentes para leer, por ejemplo. Perfect. Yeah, that's correct. They are the normal glasses. Son, son para ver. That's correct. And these ones are sunglasses, especially when it's sunny, it makes the weather. Now, let's check another part. Scarf. When it's really cold, you wear Go it fun. here. Exactly. Then we have jeans that are very casual. We have also hats. It's a different style. Belt. We have different colors also of belt and materials also. Perfect. 
even plastic, right? We have plastic belts, <laughs> plastic belts, with different colors, skirts. We know skirts, there are also different styles. They can be short, they can be long. Gloves, well, we have the gloves, shoes, or, well, in general, shoes, but specifically, sneakers or tennis. Shirt, that is formal. We have a dress. We have shorts. Then we have trousers. Trousers that they are formal pants. Socks, t-shirt, and boots. Now, question. Question with this vocabulary? Yo, yo tengo una pregunta. Yes, tell me, Ren. Eh, I am trousers. What happened is that trousers you can also say like a formal, formal pants, formal pants, but they are synonyms, some synonymous. You can say formal pants or trousers. Ah, okay, puedo decir pants. Correct, uh -huh. formal pants or trousers. You're welcome. Any other question? Igual, igual, teacher, en el caso de jeans y trouser, eh, no hay, o sea, solamente el tipo de pantalón, como el tipo de pantalón, si se puede decir. It's, it's the specific, ajá, uh -huh, it's the specific type of pants that, uh, if you say trousers, it's like more formal. But jeans is casual. Even the, the okay. fabric is different, right? Fabric is, is the tipo de tela. So el anteri igual el anterior que estaba también, que era como de vestir el, el, mm -hmm. el pantalón beige. Yes. This one, right? Uh -huh. But this one, for <clears> example, <throat> they are trousers. There's a little, a little formal that they have. So they're kind of formal here. Then you have previews. These ones, well, these ones are jeans. Let's check another one. More formal. This ones. Trousers. Mm -hmm. Different, very different than the jeans, right? Because jeans are for leisure. Sí. Or, or casual, informal. But the trousers are formal. They are formal pants. Eso es más como un pantalón de vestir, ¿verdad, teacher? Ajá, that's correct. Ajá. You can call it that. Es, es diferente con el otro, ¿verdad, Miss? Con el pantalón como de, como el deportivo. Como el pants. Oh, yes. Como el pants. Yes, because these ones are called joggers. Como para trotar. Let me show you here. Okay, have a... This one, this one, like a track suit. If it's complete, si el traje es completo para trotar, entonces es track suit. Pero es eso, solamente es el, el pantalón, solamente es el pants. They are, uh -huh. if they are only pants, it's in general. Or you can call it jumper. Or running. You can also call it running pants. Esto para, para correr. Running. <coughs> okay. Running pants. Thank you. That is more specific. Hay que, especificar, hay que especificar para qué es, Miss. And it depends. That if, if you want, eso si usted quiere especificar, like, qué tipo de, de prenda de vestir uno está usando, sí, la verdad que sí, para ser <coughs> más, sí. más específico en eso. ¿no? Pero si son pants, ok, I'm wearing pants. Y eso de uh -huh. manera general. Ahora sí, ya le preguntan a uno, what kind of pants? ¿Qué tipo de, de pantalones estás usando? Or do you wear? Usa. Uh -huh. What kind of pants do you wear for work? ¿Qué tipo de pantalones usa para trabajo? Ah, it can be jeans. It can be trousers. Formal. Casual. So, different types, right? It can be. Thank you so much. Okay, then let's go ahead here. We have this vocabulary. Now we can watch the video.
change the previous. Hi, everyone. Can you hear it? So are you? Yes. Cool. In this Thank class, you'll learn clothes vocabulary, <laughs> particularly clothes which you wear for work and for leisure. As you can see on the screen, the clothes that are like the image towards the left hand side are for work, and the ones towards the right hand side are clothes for leisure. Let's practice by listening and repeating the vocabulary. Clothes for work. Shirt. Tie. Belt. Jacket. Pants. Suit. Coat. Shoes. Blouse. Scarf. Skirt. High heels. Raincoat. Dress. Clothes for leisure. Hat. Sweater. Jeans. Gloves. Boots. Cap. T-shirt. Shorts. Socks. Sneakers. Pajamas. Swimsuits. Now is your turn to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. I would like for you to talk about the clothes that you wear for work and the clothes that you wear for leisure. If the clothes are not mentioned here, you should add them. For example, I wear a tie for work. I wear shorts at home. After you do this, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, now that we watch the video, we listen to it, we're going to see some more here or examples. We're going to write all of this. We have some examples, but you're going to give me original examples. Like here, if it says, I wear a tie for work, what is wear? Say. I'm sorry? Usar. Usar. Usar, usar, pero usar una prenda de vestir o un accesorio. Mm -hmm. No de usar, de utilizar algo. De utilizar algo es use. So, para una prenda de vestir es incorrecto decir I use. I use, for example, shorts. Incorrect. Porque es algo que, que vestimos. Ahora, si nos referimos al contexto de utilizar eh, shorts para limpiar algo, ya el contexto es diferente. Pero en este caso sería de usarlo en nuestro cuerpo. So you say, I wear shorts. I wear a tie for work. I wear shorts at home. I wear a suit for work. What is a suit, remember? Sweater. No, that is a sweater. Una chaqueta. No, that is a jacket. But suit, suit. Pantalones. A suit? No, they, are, they will be pants. A suit will be this. Let me show you. If I have Traje. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> this is a suit, right? It can be for a man, but also it can be for, for a woman. Look, this is a suit too. This not only for men, not only for women. For men and for women. Right? Just that they have different styles. So let's continue here. We're going to give me more example here. So let's write it here. One more example. I can say also that I wear, a, for example, boots for leisure. I wear a suit for work. I wear boots for leisure. 
like to relax, right, for my free time. Let's continue. Let me give me another example, please. Uh, I wear a pajama. Pajamas. 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 Uh -huh. Pajamas. For sleep. Okay, very good. I wear pajamas. Eh, you can say to sleep. Porque es el propósito. Cuando queremos decir el propósito de algo, entonces ya la, la frase me, me cambia acá. Like to sleep. Para, para dormir. dormir. Ajá, that's good. I wear pajamas. To sleep. Yes, to sleep. Very good. Aaron, continue please. Um, I wear shorts. All right, I wear shorts. At the beach. At the beach, excellent, that's good. At the beach. At El Tunco Beach, Mahawal Beach. <laughs> we have different the coast, beaches here, the right? Coast of the Sol. Ah, Costa del Sol, that's good. Okay, don't so translate it. No lo traducimos porque es un nombre propio. Entonces, tal y como es el nombre, dice, okay, el Tunco Costa del, es el Tunco. Costa del Costa Sol, del Sol. Mahawal, right? Oh, no Pero cambian los nombres cuando no, no se pueden cambiar los nombres, ¿verdad? Porque son propios, es así propios. como nuestros nombres, digamos, de manera informal, pues los traducimos, pero digamos, por ejemplo, de manera legal. En un documento no se puede porque así es nuestro nombre. Si es Juancito, uh -huh. pues así se llama Juancito. María, pues María. Don't translate. Y ahí vamos okay. a otro país y ya nos dicen Mary, Rose, pero uh -huh. de manera informal. Pero en sí, en el documento es, es legal, es propio. No change. Es como los nombres de los lugares o nuestras direcciones también. No, no es correcto traducirlo. ¿Me ayudan con el, el, el micrófono, por favor, to escuchar? Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. So, they are proper nouns. Son nombres propios. Don't translate. Mm -hmm. Sandra Guadalupe, give us another example, please. I wear a dress I wear, at I a wear, party. Very good. I wear, I wear, I wear a, dress. a dress at a party. Wow. At a party, excellent, that's good. Okay, I wear a dress at a party. That's great, thank you, Maria. Maria, continue please. I wear a, a t-shirt. A t-shirt? A t-shirt? At work. At work, okay, that's good, at work. En el trabajo. Right? Good. I wear a t-shirt at work. Very good job. Thank you. Rafael, continue, please. I wear a tie. I wear for a tie. In my office. Ah, that's good. Okay. I wear a tie in my office. In my office. Excellent. That's correct. Thank you. Gabriela. Gabriela Abigail. I wear tennis. Ah, that's good. I wear tennis. I'm sorry? I wear tennis? Running. Ah, okay. For running. For running. That's great. Thank you. Judy? Judy Edith? I a swimsuit? A swimsuit? For swim. Ah, for swimming. For swimming. For swimming. Very good job. Nice. Thank you. I wear a swimsuit for swimming. Very nice. That's great. Okay, continue, Brian. I, I wear a raincoat for go to the street. To go to? Sorry? To, to the street. To go to the streets. Okay, a raincoat. Yes. Eh, to go to the streets. Or to go out, right? Para salir. To go out. Like in general. I wear a no raincoat. Podría decirlo. No podría decirlo, sí. 
You can use it, yes. You can say to go to the street or to go out. Es más formal o utilizarlo para salir. Vamos a salir, vamos a la calle. So you say to go out. Or also in the rain, right? In la lluvia, I wear a raincoat in the rain, right? So there are different possibilities. Kenya, Vanessa, your example, please. Uh, I, I wear a, sh a shirt. Okay, I wear a shirt. To, to, a sh to be at home. Ah, very good. To be at home. That's good. I wear a shirt to be at home. Very good. Nice one, Sandra Margarita. Continue, please. I wear sunglasses in the pool. In the pool. Okay, nice. In the pool. Great. Thank you. Who we'll continue? Rafael, please. Okay. Um, I wear this shirt. Mm -hmm. I wear a t-shirt. Um, play soccer. Ah, to play soccer. That's good. Let me verify this because it's giving a little problem with the internet. All right. Okay. I wear a t-shirt to play okay, soccer, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you. Fernando, your example, please. I wear food in the gym. Ahí está la cacerola, me juego. Me ayudan con el audio, por favor. I wear, sorry, sorry, Fernando, can you repeat? I wear hoodie in the gym. I wear a hoodie. A hoodie? Yes. Okay. In the gym. Okay. Let's continue then. Who's missing? Who's missing? ¿Qué me falta que me regale un ejemplo? So chill, right? Um, yes. I wear, yes. I wear? I wear a jacket to go to the park. Okay, that's good. I wear a jacket to go to the park. All right, so to go to the park for leisure. Yeah, that's correct. Good one. Okay, Brian. Your example. And then, Hello. I I wear a t-shirt to go to the gym. Mm, that's right. To go to the gym. Excellent. I wear a t-shirt to go to the gym. That's very good. Good. Those are great examples, guys. Congratulations. Okay, now we're going to read them. And <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. Now, we're going to start reading it to practice more. Let's see, Rafael. Rafael Aguilar, start with the first one, please. I wear a suit for work. I wear a suit for work. For work, excellent. That's good. Brian Rene, continue. I wear... I wear... Uh, I wear boots? Sneaker. Here, here. Uh, uh, I wear uh, I wear boots for leisure. Leisure for leisure. Leisure. That's right. Thank you, Rafael. Okay. Continue, please. I wear pajamas <laughs> to sleep. I wear pajamas to sleep. Very good. That's nice. Fernando, continue, please. I wear shorts at the beach. I wear shorts on the beach. That's correct. Yes. Let's continue. Search it, please. I wear a dress at a party. I wear a dress at a party. Great, thank you. Gabriela, I wear a t-shirt at work. 
I wear a t-shirt at work. Thank you, that's good. Maybe I wear a tie in my office. I wear a tie in my office. A tie, a tie. A tie in my office. Thank you, that's good. Hey, Sandra Guadalupe, I wear tennis for running. I wear tennis for running. That's great, yes. Kenya Vanessa, continue. I wear a swimsuit for swimming. I wear a swimsuit. Swim, swimsuit. 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 Suit. Swimsuit. Good. Uh -huh. For swimming. I wear a swimsuit for swimming. Swimming. That's correct. Yes. Judy. I wear a raincoat to go out. I wear a raincoat to go out. That's correct. Thanks, Brian. Continue. I wear a shirt to be at home. I wear a shirt to be at home. Thank you. That's good. Let's continue, Fernando. I wear sunglasses in the pool. The, the microphone, please. Yes, thank you. I wear, I wear sunglasses in the pool. That's correct. Thank you, Sandra. I wear a t-shirt to play soccer. I wear a t-shirt to play soccer. That's great, thank you. Aaron, I wear a hoodie in the gym. I wear a hoodie in the gym. That's great, thank you. Socha, I wear a jacket to go to the park. I wear a ja Me? jacket. Yes. I wear a jacket to go to the park. Thank you. That's good. Maria Emilia, continue. I wear a t-shirt to go to the gym. Emilia? I wear, I wear a, a t-shirt to go a to the gym. A t-shirt? A t-shirt. A t-shirt to, to go, go to the gym. He's not a teacher, right? <laughs> a t-shirt. A t-shirt. That's a great. To go to the gym. <laughs> they sound very similar words, yes. All right, guys. <laughs> very good job. Okay, we have in the case of description of the clothes, but now we're going to learn how to the colors, right? Because we have different colors of clothes. But first, I need to pass the list. So let me know if you are present. Let's pass the list. Miss? Miss? Hello? Si en el caso yo quisiera decir, este, yo tengo unos zapatos rojos, corríjame si, si estoy en lo correcto. I have a red heels. I have red heels. Ah, but you mean tacones, right? Tacones, sí, tacones. Uh -huh. Son tacones, son tacones rojos. Then you can say, I have red high heels. I have red high heels. Ah, muy bien. Mm -hmm. Ahora, si yo los quiero usar, mm -hmm. I wear. Exactly, yo uso. Mm -hmm. I wear. Tenemos que cambiar de color. You're very welcome. Okay, let's see here now about our list. Tell me, please, if you are present. On Thursday, we have Aaron. Present. Thank you. Ada Lisset. Ada. Ada Lisset. No present. Alejandra Margarita. Alejandra Margarita, no. Ariel Alexandra, Ariel Alexandra, Blanca Rosa, yes, I remember I saw Blanca. Me dijo que iba a estar de oyente, so I saw him, yes. Eh, Brian, Brian René. Present. Thank you. Douglas. Douglas. Elmer Edenilson. Elmer Edenilson. Fernando de Jesús. Present. Thank you. 
Gabriela Abigail. Yes, Thank you. Jocelyn Susana. Jocelyn Susana. No. Juan Alberto. Me dijo que iba a estar de oyente. Yes, but you are there. Kenia Vanessa. Kenia Vanessa. Present. Thank you Present. so much. Maria Emilia. Present, Miss. Yes, thank you very much. Marisol, Marisol Elizabeth. Marisol. Nevi Solina. I remember Nevi. Nevi, you are there, right? You are present. Rafael Antonio. Present. Yes, yes you are there, yes. I saw you, I saw you. That's okay. <laughs> Rafael, yes. We have Rebecca Vanessa. Present. Ajá, we have Rafael. We have Rebecca Vanessa. Are you? Rebecca, are you present? Sandra Guadalupe. Present, Miss. Thank you so much. Sandra Margarita. Present. Thank you. Miss, que está, está ah, de oyente. Uh -huh. Yes, thank you very much. Yes, thank you, thank you. Sochi? Present. Thank you so much. Judy Edith? Present. All right, thank you very much, guys. We got you here, all of you present. Now, let's continue here. Okay, let's go on. Now that we have this exercise, now let's put emphasis on the colors of clothes, as we mentioned before. Let's remember some of the clothes that with colors to. Let's check here. As we know, we have different colors. Let's put emphasis on them. All right. We have, for example, red, that is very common color, blue, pink, yellow, brown, orange, green, white, black, purple, gray. Purple. What's this color? What color is this? Lila. I'm very good. That's nice. That is correct. In English, we pronounce it Lila. Like this. Lila. That's our color. Now, this one is light green. It's a variation of green. Siempre que queremos como hacer un color más claro, le vamos a agregar la palabra light. Light green. That's why it's light blue. Que es el celeste. Light blue. Maroon. Navy, that is a blue, mm. variante del azul, pero que es como un color más vivo del azul. It's navy, bronze, chocolate, salmon, right. golden, que es el dorado, mm -hmm. right? Golden. What color is this? Salmon. Mm. Orange. Look. Orange. Siempre es la misma variación, mm. solo que los tonos, ¿verdad? Este es más fuerte. Light, light, light orange. orange. Uh -huh. Ajá, it can be light orange, correct. Then we have dark blue. Ahora si queremos oscurecer un color, entonces ya sería dark. Es un azul oscuro. Dark blue. Este es el mismo de acá. Navy, turquoise, turquesa, aqua. ¿Por, ¿Por qué está dos veces navy? No, solo apareció acá eh, en la imagen, pero es el mismo. Oh, we have aqua and what color is this? It's a metal color. Metal. Plata. Uh -huh. If it's plateado, that's silver. 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 Uh -huh. Correct. It's silver color. Correct. Yes. And there are many of the accessories that they are silver color, right? And also golden or bronze. Bronze color. Now tell me, what's your favorite color? Uh, 
Aaron, what's my your favorite, favorite color? Color is blue. Okay, very good. My favorite color is blue. Okay, this is in the case that you have only one favorite color, but there are some occasions that you have plural favorite color, right? Possibly you have two favorite colors or three or four, it's possible. Now let's see, Gabriela, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is red. Is red, okay, very good. Fernando, you formulate the questions to Brian. What's your favorite color? The microphone, Fernando. Thank What's you. your favorite color? Nice. Brian? My favorite color is uh, light green. Light green, excellent. Very good. Okay, Judy, you formulate the question to Maria Emilia. What's your favorite color? Great. My favorite color is black and pink. Black and pink. Okay, so in your case, you have two favorite colors. So we can write like this. My favorite colors. And now, what is the form of the bird to be? R. Because it's blue, right? Excellent. Perfect. So my favorite colors are? Can you repeat, please, the two colors? You said black, right? Black, black, and, black and pink. Excellent. Black and pink, oh, that's a good combination. Nice. Are black and pink. Very good job. Nice. Thank you. Kenya, you formulate the questions to, let's see, to Sandra Margarita. Susana, what is, what are, what's, if it's only one, what? si queremos investigar what? solo de uno, entonces what, si queremos investigar de más de uno, what are. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Susana, what's your favorite color? Mm -hmm. Susana o Sandra? Sandra. Sandra. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Perdón, perdón. That's okay. Problem. My favorite colors are black and lila. And lila, very good. Okay, so you have two favorite colors. That's nice. Good. Okay, now, Sochil, you formulate the question. Let me see to Nevi. Okay, and um, what are your favorite colors? Excellent. Nevi? My favorite color is purple. Um, for, okay, for, it's two. For, if it's two, then you say my favorite colors are are because it's plural. <laughs> the microphone, maybe, please. Se me había borrado la pantalla. <laughs> yes, <laughs> my favorite color is is purple. It's, it's purple. So it's only one, only one. Uh, yes. Vaya, pero vaya, si yo quiero decir morado y todos sus derivados, tengo, tengo cre, creería que es uh, purple, purple. At is the, purple, purple. At, at is derivative, ¿verdad? A derivative. And the derivative. On the, er, and, and the variety, also you can say. And the variation. And the, and the deri derivative. Derivative. Mm -hmm. and the derivatives. Okay, so it's not only one color, but you have plural favorite colors, right, in that case. So you have about the favorites. Mm -hmm. Now, we have a video, which we are going to watch. Let's go ahead and watch it. All right, this is a conversation, but first we're going to see some colors and the name of the conversation is, it's a disaster. We will see why it's a disaster. In this class, you'll look. Can you hear? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. okay. Yes. Thank you. 
colors and you will find this conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real conversation. Let's start by looking at the image on the screen and listening to the colors. You should listen and repeat. White. Light gray. Gray. Dark gray. Beige. Light brown. Brown. Dark brown. Black. Red. Pink. Orange. Yellow. Light green. Green. Dark green. Light blue. Blue. Dark blue. Purple. Now, we're going to listen and repeat to a conversation which illustrates how colors are used to describe clothing. Let's listen and repeat. Great! Our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait. It is mine. It's a disaster. Oh, no. All our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Uh, they're mine. Sorry. What I would like for you to do next is to practice this conversation. If you have a partner with whom you can practice with, that will be great. If it's just you, I would still encourage you to practice on your own. All right, now that we've watched the video, we are going to have more options here, but to investigate the colors, right? For example, if we ask with this ones, we have different pictures here and they have different clothes and also the colors. So we're going to check what colors are they. All right. For example, on the picture number one, Sandra Guadalupe, tell me what color is her jacket? It's, it's, it's color orange. Okay, very good. You can say it's orange. You don't need to say a color because you have it in the question. So what color is her jacket? It's orange. And that's okay. Okay. Now, what about? Okay. Thank you. Number two. Let's continue. Sandra uh, Margarita. Yes, tell me. Uh, podríamos también responder her jacket it is orange. It's orange. Yeah, perfect. You can do it. Yes, you can give a complete answer. Okay. También se puede responder eh, completo. Solo que si queremos como hablar de manera más práctica, puede ser así, ir como al punto. It's orange. No, digamos Porque una respuesta corta. Esa es una respuesta corta y uh -huh. también está completa porque estamos respondiendo sí. lo que nos piden acá. That is the color of the jacket. Y como ya mencionamos acá de qué sujeto estamos hablando en la pregunta, entonces ya no es necesario repetir. Ya es no necesario para... repetir. Ajá. Es para omitir repetición. Ok. Mm -hmm. Pues it's orange. Now, number two. Sochil, what color is her coat? This one is the picture number two. Uh, it's color red. It's color? Red. All right, that's good. Or it's red, right? You can also mention like that. It's red. Now, let's go ahead. Fernando, number three. What color is her skirt? This is picture number three. 
It's brown. It's brown. Very good. Nice. It's brown. That's right. Share to yes. Number four. Let's continue. Let's see, Marisol. Marisol. Aaron. What about it's yellow. Four? It's color. It's yellow. Okay. It's yellow. It's a yellow, right? Just that is like dark yellow. Solo que es un amarillo oscuro, right? Yeah. So it's yellow. Es un variante de del amarillo. So it's yellow. Derivate. Uh, it's a derivate, uh -huh. or it's dark yellow. Ya le va pegando el café. <laughs> it's like brown, similar, right? It's dark yellow. Let's see about it's that. Como it's like a mustard color. So it's a combination, right, of colors, actually. Yes, that is all right. Good, okay. En, en, en el caso del inglés, en, en, uh, en el, la traducción del, del color khaki, it's like mustard, mustard, Most, mustard, mustard. Uh -huh. mustard, but also it can be brown, porque también es, un, es, es variado, no es mezclado. So it's like Acá, es, que, es, que, es que se ve uh -huh. como que no, no fuera un, un amarillo, sino que, que ya más, no it sé. Ajá, es uh -huh. it's like mustard, es como mostaza. Como mostaza. Uh -huh. Sí, así viene siendo. Ajá, uh -huh. like mustard. Mustard color, mustard color, como hay una gran paleta de colores, no, Uy, it's a lot of, te da gusto uno, when you go to, to share with me yeah. to Freon, right, Ooh, you have a variety, when you want to paint your house, it's very difficult to make a decision with colors. <laughs> okay, let's see now about number five, Judy. Number five, what color is her cat? Her cat. It's gray. It's gray. That's correct. It's gray. So we have the colors here. Now, this one is referring to the women's clothing. But now, let's describe about men's. Men's clothing. You're going to give me the colors. Okay, let's see in the case of picture number one. Picture number one, Kenya. What color is your t-shirt? What color is his t-shirt? It's white. It's white, yes, that is correct. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. Mm -hmm. What color is mm -hmm. it's his t-shirt, right? Nelly, what color are his shoes? Mm -hmm. This is picture number two. Are brown? That's good, okay? What is the subject? What color are his shoes? The shoes, right? Plural. It's plural. Perfect. So what is the plural? It's yes, it's or they? Are. They, they are. They are. Excellent. That's correct. Aunque yes, estemos hablando they. de cosas, siempre es they cuando es plural. Recuerda que me llamábamos. Brown. Uh -huh. Excellent. That's good. They are brown. Son café. They are brown. Yeah, yeah, that's very good. What about number three? Picture number three. Continue, Brian, please. What color are his glasses? Number three. What color are his glasses? Mm -hmm. What color? Tell me. Tell me the color. Black. Now that's good. What subject do you use? It's or there? There. Oh, yeah. They, right? Because it's plural. 
glasses. Yes, the yeah, glasses are always plural. Perfect. Yeah. They're they black. They're black, excellent. Yeah. Uh huh. That's the plural case. Correct. Okay, now let's see number four. Picture number four. Watch. Fernando, please. What color is his watch? His watch, right? Picture number four. What color do you see? It's like a metal color. It's black. Are you sure? Look at it. Let's silver. check. It's silver. Aha, uh -huh. yes. Look, it's silver. Look, brilliant. Yes, it's silver. So it's silver. That's silver color. Let's see number five. Let's continue. Let's see. Sachin. What color are his shorts? Now is picture number five. Sachin, are you present? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. What color are his shorts? They. Okay. Um. One moment, please. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're marron. Uh -huh. Yes, they're marron. Yes. Brown. Yes. Brown. Brown. Right. As we brown. know, brown. Brown. marron is not brown, right? Light brown also. It can be, yes. Brown derivative. Is it, it has a brown the derivative, yes. So they're brown they are light brown also right we have another like the jacket is brown too right <laughs> we have brown uh, also the trouser his trousers are brown the shorts are brown well the shoes are brown we have a lot of dairy base here a lot of variety of them okay so we have the case of this one now in the case of this Notice that we have different colors. That's for men or for women, right? Do you have questions about this? No questions? So remember here you have singular and the plural. Only depends, right, if you have it. Now let's say, uh, what is your favorite? color for shoes. Aaron, what is your favorite color for shoes? For shoes. Uh, uh -huh. e, it, it's in black. Black. Okay. You prefer black for shoes. Okay. Fernando, what about you? What is your favorite color for shoes? It's white. White, okay, nice. Sandra Margarita, what is your favorite color for, let's see, for a dress? It's purple. Purple, okay, nice. Marisol Aleman, what is your favorite color for glasses? No presents? Rafael, what about you? What is your favorite color for um, trousers? So formal pants. For trousers, what's your favorite color? The microphone, Rafael, please. It is gray. I'm sorry, what color? It is gray. White. What color for, for trousers, for formal pants? Okay, right. Yes. What about you? What is your favorite color for jeans? My favorite color is black. It's black. All right. That's good. Okay, so everybody has different preferences, right? For the colors of the jeans, for the shoes, for the blouses, for the suits also. Now, tomorrow, we are going to continue with a conversation. With this conversation, we're going to practice it. We watched the video, but we're going to practice it. It was a video, but mañana lo vamos a practicar. And we're going Teacher. to do some possessive. Yes, tell me. 
Una pregunta, eh, con, en, con el anterior, la anterior diapositiva donde estábamos viendo lo de los... ¿Eso? Eso, en, la, en ese último donde está What color are his shoes? Shorts. Shorts. His shorts. Uh, his shorts. ¿Estaría correcto decir what color is his short? No, because short is plural. Es como en el caso de pants, jeans, que siempre como llevan dos mangas, se toma como plural. Or like glasses, ah, es que, como lentes Es que esa era también. mi duda, ¿por qué? Uh -huh. ese, porque se estaba, si se estaba utilizando como un, como un short. Like singular. Ah, no. Ah, como, ah, They're ah, shorts. Sí. Se con, me confundía porque si, que, si estaba incorrecto decir are his shorts se refiere como a más de uno pero ah, ahí, no. es el Ajá, es el que plural. tenía Ajá, correct. porque ese es el nombre hay varias palabras en inglés que no es porque digamos sea un plural también sino que así es el nombre de, en este caso de la prenda ok so, si nos referimos a varios pares entonces sí serían pares de shorts o pares de jeans. Ahí se pueden como individualizar. Ya porque ya no sería solo uh -huh. un par de jeans. O un par de pantalones. Un par de shorts. Sino ya dos pares. Me voy a comprar dos pares de, uh, de shorts. Two pairs of shorts. O sea que se toma. Aquí se toma como plural. Plural el, el short. Porque, porque o sea, podemos decir por las dos piernas. Ajá. Por, la, ajá, por lo que contiene la prenda. Es Igual la camisa, de... las, dos malas, las dos mangas. En el caso de la camisa es diferente. Esa es diferente porque solo es una ah. camiseta. Y en cambio esta, pues la, eh, el nombre, el nombre de la prenda es shorts. No se puede decir como short porque shorts también significa corto, como un adjetivo. Lo que pasa es que oh. aquí va como un adjetivo. Ajá, es igual no sé. como los zapatos que tenemos que decir shoes porque ah, son solo... dos. Ajá, solo que fíjese que en ese caso, como los zapatos pueden andar separados, entonces a veces se nos Ajá. pierde un zapato, ¿verdad? Se me perdió un zapato, sí. where is my shoe? <risa> Tengo uno, pero el otro a saber dónde está, where is my bueno, bueno, shoe? Yo otro. Exactly. <risa> en el caso de los shorts, no se puede. No separar. se puede. En una sola Todo prenda. va a dar una parte. <risa> un pedazo de short. Un pedazo, ajá, como está la moda ahora, ¿verdad? Un, un, o sea que, o sea que entonces. De un color y la otra de otro. <risa> todo, todo va a depender, todo va a depender de, lo, de, de a qué nos refiramos si la en el caso una, de la prenda. Una sola. Ajá, si la prenda es ajá. una sola y no se puede separar, es única, okay. es individual. Los zapatos sí, ¿verdad? Eso sí, pues. Es dar, como no, igual muchos. como lo, los lentes. Exacto. No andamos con solo un lente. Bueno, al menos que, bueno, ande tuerto uno. ¿verdad? Solo se ponga uno. <risa> <risa> se le quebró uno. <risa> Pero son lentes. Es un A menos que lentes. sea pirata. A menos que sea pirata. <risa> Jack Sparrow. <risa> Uh -huh. so, si ok, thank you. Una thank you so much. Ok, Bye. guys. Remember Bye. to advance. Recuerden avanzar en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Para que no se vayan a atrasar. We continue tomorrow then. Have a beautiful night. Thank you, Miss. Thank you thank so you. much. Have sweet thank dreams. So dream, with the, dream with the angels. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good evening. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. All right. Bye bye. Take care. Have a good night. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow. I see you tomorrow. See you. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. Sweet dreams.